When you see the event today and we get an opportunity to see the ascent element meet with the descent element in a facility that is absolutely world class, you can see how far this team has come. One of the hardest parts of guidance, navigation, and control in space is that RPOD event. And RPOD stands for Rendezvous, Proxops, and Docking. So it's when the two vehicles come together. There's a lot of things that have to happen. So how we're buying down that risk and making that safer and addressing the challenges are doing tests like this. Lockheed Martin, as part of the national team, can do tests like this so early because we are leveraging our high heritage from programs like Orion. Today, we mated the ascent element with decent element. The descent element is responsible for the actual descent down to the lunar surface and the ascent element is responsible for bringing us back up from the lunar surface and returning the crew safely to the vehicle that will take them home. With the augmented reality you got to see the whole thing. Augmented reality was used first of all because it is so cool but really augmented reality is based on our actual design. And so we can leverage the augmented reality to really give us good insight. You can simulate and simulate and simulate, but at the end of the day, until you put the hardware in the loop and have everything in the loop, you really don't know how it's gonna act. Landing the next man and first woman on the moon is really going to take a strong partnership like the one we're building on the national team. It's the national team leveraging our heritage flight software that's going to return us to the moon, this time to stay.